product, and um, I'm going to talk about my decision today. Uh, first, I want to ask everybody, who can, like, like, before I told you it was a bassoon, be honest, who would have said it was a bassoon? Okay, most of you who raised your hands just then are in bands. Or, or like I told you at some earlier notes. But um, the people who didn't raise your hand, it, like, don't worry about it. It's, don't worry, like, that you don't know it's a bassoon. It's not a very, like, very well-known instrument, like, let's say, guitar or drums or something like that. It's not a very well-known instrument. But, um, it's, it's kind of, like, it's tall, and it's, it, it can play extremely low, and it, um, in band, and like when you play with a band, it's usually, it usually holds the bass line, or like the heartbeat of the band, and um, while the other people play like the, um, the higher, like the melody, so the bassoon's usually used to play the counter melody. And uh, so this is what it looks like, these are all the different pieces, there's two more pieces that aren't shown here, because they're like on the bottom of it, but um, it's, this is called, this is called a boot. And it's it's what you take the seat strap. It's what you would flip this to. And normally you would sit in a seat with this under your butt, and it, it would hold up the uh, bassoon because the bassoon by itself is heavy. And so, um, and then um, this is the uh, the wing joint, and it go. There's two holes here, and this one has a peg. They, they would go into the smaller hole, and it would sit there like this, and then this is a beginner bassoon. It had, this is the long joint, and it has this to hold it together. So this, there's a little hole on top of it here. Um, there's a little hole on top of it here where the, um, where this little, where the little peg would fit into. And so this would go into the bigger hole in the, uh, in the bassoon, in the little boot, and that's how that goes. And then the sound comes out of this, which is the bell, and um, don't worry about the ribbons, those are from Hector Bay, but oh uh, yeah. And you would fit it on top of here, and this would go on top of this, and it goes like that. And then there's two more pieces that are needed to make the bassoon operational and able to play. There's, one, there's a piece called a vocal, which fits right here. And this, is, and you put the reed on the end of it here, and um, it fits like that. This is the whisper key that goes into the little hole in the vocal over here, and then there's a reed. The hole is extremely tiny, and but we have to force air through that, through that little hole. And the reed vibrates, and it. Um, makes a sound which travels to the bassoon and combines with like covering the holes and stuff and makes the actual sound. So this is what the reed sounds like by itself. It sounds like kind of like a little kazoo or something. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. But if you if I were to put it onto the bassoon it would sound it would sound a lot more mellower and it would uh, sound a lot better. And we would take the reed and we would soak it in water to make it easier to play. And we we soak the whole piece most of the time and so yeah. And um, that, um, that's kind of how the bassoon works. There's a bunch of different keys on here. My favorite one, we have a, um, we have a key on our bassoon. This is, we call this the pancake key, since it's so big. We use it to play our E, our low E, and then we use this to play our B flat and stuff. And so, um, we also have this little piece right here. We use it to clean out our bassoon with like all the spit in there and stuff. So we don't need to clean out these parts or this. This, this is all, we use the metal piece and we feed it through here and through here. And these are the only two places we feed it through. And um, if we take it apart, we would take this off and we would like put it in there. And so that's kind of how it works. And we also have metronomes and we have like reed cases that we can order from. And you can also get like private lessons for it. Um, I take private lessons and it, um, that's pretty much how the bassoon works. It's, at first when you see it, it's a little bit uh, intimidating because it's so big and it's kind of like, it's, it's definitely intimidating. 
I mean, like, when I first came to band, like, for the band tryout at the beginning of the year, I was definitely intimidated, intimidated by it because it was just, like, so massive and it was, it was just really intimidating for me. But then I chose it as my instrument, and the more I played it and the more I got used to it, the more fun I had with it. And now I can play a, a, quite a few songs and I can have fun. And I can, like, play songs just, like, by hearing them. And so I can play quite a, a few songs. And so that's pretty much how it, like, that's pretty much all about the bassoon. There's only a few, there's a few versions of the bassoon. There is not a few, I mean, like, there's two or three versions of the bassoon. The only one I know of, the only other version.